They are, they are symbolized as, as workers going in the field. Two hours after they came on stage, they were employed. The Lord had to intervene and break their cycle at 11, one hour before 12 midnight. One hour. In other words, none of the others were interrupted except Seventh-day Adventists. Brothers and sisters, these are glaring light that we must take pains to understand. It means that when we look at the old picture, there's no other movement after the Seventh-day Adventist, according to the Bible. God is not raising up another prophet after this. And if you, we will show you as we go on that he has given us seven, seven messages and seven movements, complete. So when God reaches the last, he cannot go further, he cannot go contrary to his word, he will have to work within. So that's why he had to pinch off an hour from the Seventh-day Adventist time. That is one hour which he will take to bring about an eleventh hour set of workers. You remember what Matthew said? He said he went out <clears throat> early in the morning, read it, then he went out the third hour, ah, one, two, three, then he went out the sixth hour, four, five, six, three hours, no interruption in these periods. Then six, seven, eight, the ninth hour, he went out to higher labors. And then the eleventh hour, he went inside the period of these set of workers and interrupt the flow, meaning something went wrong. Something went wrong. And he's showing us today that we must hope more spiritual eyes. I'll show you all this ties into Revelation chapter 13, um, Revelation chapter 17 and 18, it ties into it because this is where the 11th hour will work. This is where the 11th hour, God according to Revelation 18, represent another angel. Not one of the three angels, no. Another angel that comes within the church within the three angels' message, to give it power and force. What is that power and force? It is to glorify God, first of all, without sin and without sinners. God bless you. Get ready for this kingdom. Get ready for God's um, moving to give power and force to the three angels' messages. It's 11th hour call workers that will give power and force to the three angels' messages. Yes, God will work through them. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to the love of God the Father, the full fellowship, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Hop over to YouTube and you will see the chart, share it, share the message. God bless you. Take care. <coughs>